That is the rule. Yeah? If you want to come down here, do anything good at all, you have to balance yourself with bad karma. You have to pick up some bad karma that you are used to before. Okay, the Master gives you initiation and cut off that, all that bad karma. You see, burn it off so that you don't have to come back in this lifetime again. And then you're free, you go up to heaven, a third heaven maybe. And, but then you look down and you see somebody and you want to help or you want to come down and improve yourself or progress in spiritual practice. Understand? Yeah. Then you have to overcome your past tendency of negativity. So remember, every time, if you tend to turn to that negative corner, please think twice. Okay. Could it be that my bad karma came back? You know, many, many fold stronger than before. That is a problem. Because when you come into this atmosphere of the planet, there are also plenty more negativities of the like nature. So your negativity will attract also form of that. And they clump together and make you feel more inclined to that kind of negative direction more than just your own negative tendency. Do you understand me? Like attract like. Yes. It's very difficult to pick up any positive things on this planet, mostly negative. So if you bring your own and come here, oh, and then it's like a magnet. All the negativity also will be connected with you through, you know, the law of like attract like. Then you'll be overwhelmed. So you are the only one who decides which direction you go. Hmm? Which direction, according to the Buddha's teaching, according to Jesus' teaching, according to Prophet Muhammad's teaching, or the Jain Master's teaching, Mahavira, etc., etc. Yes. You have to think before you do anything bad, or anything you doubt it that is not good, you have to think. Would Buddha do this? Okay? Would Jesus act like that? Uh, would Prophet Muhammad agree to my action? Then you will know what to do. Do you understand me? Yes. Otherwise, if you don't have guidance, you just do whatever you think in your mind, then it's mostly just negative. Because you don't meditate enough to overcome the negative power of this world yet. You understand? Apart from your own <laughs> negative trait that you have picked up before you came here to overcome it, you know, to win over your negative past. Apart from that, you have all the negativities of different kinds upon you as well. So always think, that's why the teaching of the Buddha is important. The teaching of Jesus is important. The teaching of Islam is important. Take it as a guidance, understand me? What would the prophet do in this case? What would the Buddha do in this case? What would Jesus Christ decide in this case? Then you won't go wrong, okay? That's how you follow uh, Islam teaching. That's how you be a good Christian. And this is how you are a true Buddhist. All right? Don't just read it. Eh, for fun. It is a good guidance for you, so that you will not err in this negative domain, so that you will not be overpowered by your own past karmic uh, force and the force of negativity in this world, the collective one. Okay? Huh? Yeah, all right. Good. I see you later. <laughs>